Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Help us help you together. together. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy, happy holidays. Happy, uh, happy New Year. Happy, uh... Happy everything, really. Happy, uh... Happy Jesus' birthday. Happy Jesus' birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the reason for the season, really. It really, really is hot in here. You okay? No, I just, uh... What's the matter? <clears throat> um, are you uncomfortable? I'm a little uncomfortable. You look so good, though. You look yeah <clears throat> comfortable. So uh, today is our uh, holiday, I guess, uh, ho holiday show. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of holiday questions to answer. This is my favorite time of year. I don't know what it is about this time of year. It could be um, could be the, the bacon. I love bacon. Christmas cookies. I thought the you meant songs. the meat. The meat selection of bacon. That's that's what I was thinking because I love bacon, uh, back bacon, Canadian bacon. Mm. Uh, though not too much Canadian bacon because unpatriotic. It is unpa really. It's it's real yes. un-American. Mm. I want regular, kill a pig on an American farm bacon, thin sliced. Mm. I'm trying to get this one to start to learn how to be a better baker because I think she's got it in her. I tell you, I I you know what I got in me. I had. A, a lot of eggnog. We both had eggnog before the show we tonight. Did. Well, mm -hmm. Maybe we, we should get to some of the questions. Let's listen to our phone call. Okay. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tracy and Kel, I was just wondering how you handle in-laws during the holidays when they are just they are just pains in the asses. Susan. Susan. Uh, I'll be right there. Oh. Just any anything would be helpful. I'm confused. You know, it takes a while for people to warm to others' loved ones. Mm -hmm. Especially around the holidays when <clears throat> people are drinking eggnog and getting quite opinionated. What? Just over Thanksgiving. We had to listen to Aunt Dee Dee go on a rant about Mexicans coming into this country. Now, I'm not going to get into politics <clears throat> on this show. They are called... Mexicans. They are not called Mexicans. And I think I think that says it all. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Dear Tracy and Cal, what do you get for your lover when you're both on a fixed income? <clears throat> Signed, cashed out at Christmas. Well, now we both know something about this. Mm-hmm. I think a holiday gift doesn't have to cost a lot of money because as we've learned from countless Christmas specials mm -hmm. and Hallmark holiday movie classes, <clears throat> if you can give something from your heart, well, that can cost you a penny and it still mean more than, you know, a million dollar jet. Or a <clears throat> universal remote. I told you, I always lose those things. I never understand the buttons. That's why we don't get them. I don't understand if it's for the TV, the VCR. Now you're talking about getting an Apple TV, the DVD player. Now we got the DVR player. I don't understand why we need one remote for all those things when I can't figure out how the buttons work on them. Well, anyway, I got you a Christmas present that didn't cost much. Because I thought that you would like it. I got you Christmas present as well. You did not. I did. Oh. Okay. Why not? Oh my god, you did not. Did we get... We got such similar presents. We gave each other the same damn gift. Is this an apron? You got me an apron. Because you know how I love to bake and I want you to start baking it. And you know how I don't like getting dirt on my clothes. This is gorgeous. It matches It matches your red outfit. It matches my red outfit. I mean, I don't, well. You don't like the frills? I, um, you know I could cut with this? Bacon. You could cut some bacon. I'm real good at cooking bacon. 
you know what, dear? And this is perfect because I will not. That looks really fantastic on you. Thank you. I just love you to pieces. Mm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.